Okay, we're, welcome to the book of Genesis on our word study of repent slash repentance. We are going to turn to Genesis chapter 6, going to go through verse 1 through verse 8. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw their daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And we see that today a lot. Verse 6, And it repented, there's our word, the Lord, that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him in his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping things, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Now, Remember the intro study, we went over a lot of definitions. Now, definition number four is what applies here. Apply to a supreme being to change the course of providential dealings. Now, you go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 through 28. Let's head to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 through Twenty-six, first Gen uh, Genesis chapter one, twenty-six. And God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth." So God created man in His own image, and the image of God created He him. Male and female created He them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Now, also, if you go back far enough, uh, go down, jump down to verse 31. And God saw everything that, thing that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. So there's two parts there. God created man, and he said it was good. And he also told man to multiply on the face of the earth. Now when it comes to a supreme being to change the course of provincial dealings, when he's dealing with man at the beginning, multiply. Okay? It is good. Creating man was good. Now before the flood, when he saw how the world was, his, how he was dealing with the world changed. Now he regrets making man. It's, he repents. Okay, It's no longer good that he made man. He feels like it's bad that he made man because of how equal, uh, um, evil they were. Plus, he's going to destroy him. He went from multiplying him to, I'm going to destroy all of them off the face of the earth. But Noah found grace in God's eyes. So the context of repentance here is the change, the course of provincial dealings. God is dealing with the world one way before the flood, before you know, he asked Noah to build the ark, and he's going to deal with the world differently when the flood starts. He kills everybody except Noah, his three sons, and his three sons' wives, and Noah's wife. Okay? So that's the context here. It goes from, it's good that man was created, to now it's bad. It went from being fruitful and multiplied, to I will destroy man whom I have created. It's a change of providence. When God repents, it's a change in how he's going to deal with people. He's going to say, I'm going to do this, 
and he repents and he's not going to do it. He's going to deal with them a different way. And we'll see that when we get to Exodus. So only one time was repent found in the book of Genesis. So we'll see you in the next book.